All right, welcome back to the Artists or Shitty People Artists podcast. Shitty people. Um, my name is Kelby Canick, publisher of Making the Magazine, founder of the membership, and I am joined by Miss Primrose, and I'm an artist. Yeah. <laughs> Not and a shitty one, though. Okay. You just, you just the artist. <laughs> just distancing yourself in the comments. From the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. They Not are. Me, though. Yeah, they are. Right. <laughs> like everybody else. <laughs> All right, so let's have this conversation. What are, we, what are we doing? So last week we left off where, you know, you you gave me the task of budgeting. No, I gave you the task of being honest. Being honest. Being honest. That's that's really the Woo, task. Woo, being honest. And that's been a that's been a tough doozy because even I was saying on my way up here, I was like, man, I might be putting myself all out on the front line for everybody to see. Right. But, you know, that's just what makes me better. That's what helps me grow. So... I'm ready to get into it, y'all. It's so crazy. I was like, Whew. that's what makes me better than them. <laughs> <laughs> Not better as a person. I like, oh, she meant them. better. It's okay. Right. <laughs> Just so anyone else. Woo. Like, you know, they're going to take that clip out of context. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. They're going to, oh, she thinks she's better than us. <laughs> All right. So. Man. So, uh, yeah. So I, I, I went ahead and did the budgeting thing. Um, you sent me the, the uh, worksheet and y'all. All honesty, I found out I was broke. <laughs> I realized that the life that I thought I was living, I wasn't really living that. I wasn't living it. <laughs> you was believing your own Instagram? I was believing my own Instagram. Like, that shit popping. Right. I said, my <laughs> IG page. You know what? Go to my IG page. Y'all going to yeah. follow me because yeah. I got everything going on. It's popping. Then when I sat here and I did this budget, y'all, the y'all, we really going to break down and go through. Oh, my God. I you said, so old school. Why did I send her <laughs> an Excel worksheet, a Google Sheets worksheet? She like somebody auntie. She printed it off and then wrote in the number. <laughs> I did I'm, this. I'm so done with you. At but this I point. did this so that we could see it, you know, here on camera for y'all. I got everybody. an iPad. <laughs> can, uh, can I get my uh, production assistant to bring me my he iPad? Said, it should be. He in. said she an auntie. Oh my goodness. I'm somebody's auntie. I'm gonna be the rich auntie though. Oh, once goodness. I get this budgeting together. This, Ooh, is, this is amazing. Lord, cause yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> It was a couple of numbers here. I, I I missed some things. Right. But when I realized, I was like, yo, how am I even living right now? Yeah. I don't even know. And 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 I don't and, get it. And that's the it's like people don't go to the doctor. Especially in our community. Mm. Until yeah. like it like they go to the emergency room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they see a doctor. <laughs> when <it's, laughs> they don't go to the doctor, they go to the emergency, emergency room. room. Is like until it's an unavoidable problem, unless it's something that's unavoidable or, or it's something that is, um, what is like just, I, I want to use another word for emergency, but mm. it's just like some catastrophic that yeah. happens and it's unavoidable. Now you like, now you paying attention to but it. But you, you've had symptoms for a long mm -hmm. time and you're like, why, why did it hurt? Mm -hmm. like, like all this, these little things. And it's like, why my account on zero? Not wanting to deal with the <laughs> truth. Like that's that's the honest Oof. the thing. Like, um, like for instance, perfect example. Our subscription is twenty dollars mm -hmm. um, a month. Like the membership used to be twenty six dollars a year. People thought that was too much, right? <laughs> the the membership now you have to be approved and whole thing. That's fifteen hundred dollars a year, and it ain't even open, y'all. Like, but fifteen hundred dollars a year that sounds like a lot of money to some it does. people. Does yeah. That's one hundred and twenty-five dollars a month, which is that's thirty dollars a week. That's what around four dollars and some change a day. A day, yeah. So for your music career, yeah. So now it's like, is that a lot of money? No. And so, like, these are the the things, like, because we don't we don't want to deal with like money, and we don't want to deal with the numbers. Mm -hmm. We don't delve into them. So we don't understand it. What? It's a it's a place of uh, fear. Like it's like I've heard people like, yo, if I had cancer, if I had AIDS, if I had this, I wouldn't even want to know. I just want to like just no. Like I've heard people say this because they don't want to have to wrestle Deal with it with mm. the fact of knowing my death is coming or mm. that I'm sick. I just want to just check out. Like like I rather not know until the let last me minute. die. Like, like so, let me live in peace until I die. 
even if my death could have been avoided. And that's how most people handle their budgets. Let me live in peace until I fail. Mm -hmm. Let me live in peace until I'm evicted. Let me live in peace until it's catastrophic and, and unavoidable. <laughs> then you try to go to the emergency room. Yeah, and that, that I I can't help you. Like that's the thing. Like at this point, it's like, hey, this, this is stage four. Yeah, and you came in two years ago when right. you had these symptoms. Then we, we could have did something. Right. So many things, man. And so, like that's that's where things get really difficult uh, when it comes to doing the budgeting thing. <sighs> Is just getting artists to actually do it. Yeah, and it's it's it, it, you felt better before you did the budget. Oh yeah, you felt real. I was Listen. like, I got money. Yeah, I can do this. I'm out here, we doing. We, we out here. We, we outside. Putting on shows. <laughs> we, we we gonna pulling up. We meeting people. We. Yeah. You want me to pull up when and do what? Yeah, I got this. Yeah. I saw that budget. I did that. I ain't going outside but, no more. But you. But and I ain't going thing, outside no more. You instinctively know that you're broke. Yeah. Like people like, yo, you instinctively know that you said like, you know that, hey, I may need to go like, hey, I need to do some. I need to start eating better. Mm -hmm. Like all these little things. But you don't put it into a proper context. You don't formalize your feelings <sighs> at all. So that's why. Ah oh, man, that's a lot of money because, you know, you broke. Mm hmm. Like, oh, man, that, that, I shouldn't. Well, I'm going to spend the money on that for because, you know, you, know you, you broke. broke. Oh, I could do it myself. Cause, Cause you, you know, know you, you broke. broke. Like, yeah. why would you sit up, download some crack software, and then spend eight hours trying to make a cover yourself? <laughs> Instead of paying this guy twenty five dollars. Cause you broke. Cause you broke. It's not because you value your time less than the money. Nope. It's that you have an abundance of time and not an not abundance money. of money. Right. <laughs> and so yeah. it's really dealing with the the truth of the situation. So when when you do the budget. It, it puts your life into perspective to a large degree. It's like, man, I'm spending a lot of money. Mm. Like, or I'm not making as much as I thought. Uh, Even if you're making good money, yeah. when you have to put it juxtaposed to what you're spending and what's going out, and I know all of it ain't there, because if you go through your credit card or your state bank statement, you're like, oh, I forgot about that. And, oh, yeah, I did go there. <laughs> like, oh, so I, I don't spend Man, I remember me and Kim, like, she used to always swear, like, oh, we only spend such and such eating out. I'm like, no, we don't. <laughs> like, no, we don't. We spend four times that amount. And she, no, no, no. And then I was like, until you look pull at up it. the statements. Yeah. I was like, look at that. That was one week. That's what you said. <laughs> right. Until you look at it. <laughs> that's our weekly budget on. <laughs> Man. Like, so that's the that's the thing is really taking the time out for that. Um, so here's the thing. Like, your link tree. And this, this, I don't, I wouldn't include this here because these things are part of your music. Oh. So only life. This is just life. So like not even Netflix, Peacocks, none of those entertain, cause that's, well, that's what I put under no, no, that, that, that's, that's your entertainment. Yeah. That ain't your business. Oh, okay. Oh. Link, Link Tree <laughs> so is your pretty, business. That's yeah. for Primrose. Making it, that's for Primrose. Yeah. Like, so like all of this. So what poster, about these niggas in Atlanta? What, what, is, what is the nine? Look, and that's why I left that. That's why that's blank because it's like uh, I it fluctuates. All right, so I'm I'm going to let me see if I can pull it up over here and put it in properly. <laughs> you must you did that on the car on the way over. You you was downstairs early. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> when I did you print this out? Okay. okay, so I did it. <sighs> I did it in my head mm -hmm. earlier when I got the document, mm -hmm. but it, of course, wasn't calculating because you can't do stuff in your head and actually make it calculate out. Right. So when I printed it out and actually put it on the paper, I was like, whoa, whoa. Start, stuff was starting to get really, really real. And I was like, I'm spending too much money. I'm spending more than I'm making. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how that's possible. But I do have other streams of income that. But then you put those in. Oh, so we and that's what like but they all fluctuate, and that's why I'm but, like. But you have an average. We always uh, speak to the yeah, average. The average. The average. Math guy. Mm -hmm. uh, let's I see. definitely didn't calculate those. Like the online store where that sells, didn't add that. So project like if you managing. Look at how long you've had the online store up, and you look at 
what you on average make, like past six months or mm. past three months. I ain't months. had it that long. Then I don't even include it. Oh, well, like man. then, like anything that you've been doing consistently for three to six months, okay. you can get a kind of an average, and it's still going to be not as accurate mm-hmm. because it's over a period of time, and so that's that's understandable. Um, but it's like I would definitely, um, I, I would definitely not include it if it's something very new. Okay, because you can have like. Because you're gung-ho about it starting it the first time. I'm pretty sure it's lead-up promotion. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I'm about to do this. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do this. And then you do it, and you get a spike, a bump initially. And then, and then it, it kind of levels yeah. off. So um, let's see. I'm put, I ain't going to go over your numbers all out loud. <laughs> I'm just going to put them in. We out here <laughs> saying might as well. So we can see. Who you got for internet? Uh, at t at and T, see if we can get them to sponsor this. Yeah. Okay. So what I always do is on anything like grocery, anything that fluctuates, I mm-hmm. go with the um, highest number. Highest number. Two fifty. Yeah. Let's see entertainment. So if if you take away, because this is where I make my uh, flyers. That's my link tree, and that's that. Yeah, I ain't so gonna include them. Then I just Netflix it out. But Netflix is included in this. Entertainment, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh-huh. that don't even need to. I don't even need to consider Say anything that. down here. Okay. Okay. But well, uh, yeah, that's it right now. Okay, so. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. And this is just like around like everybody has different stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, you know, you got like. Medical stuff, child support, like people be having rest to anything. Yeah. Like so, anything that you pay for every month in your life, you have to include in your budget. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you will find yourself in trouble. Yeah, right, because <laughs> it still won't be true, won't be accurate. So, let's see. Mm-hmm. Who you got your phone with? AT and T. Oh, you must got like a bundle or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm like, mm-hmm. shit. Why that's so low? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm just paying for the phone every month. So, okay. yeah. Got them bundles. Okay. All right. Let's got see. five phones on the line. They give you a deal. <laughs> All right. So now, let's look at... Um, your so this is the second sheet. Yeah. So from the first sheet, you have what your monthly expenses are. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you have for your monthly income? So that's why I put a range because this is the lowest that I can make if I just solely rely on the job. Mm-hmm. But then, of course, I have side hustles and mm-hmm. it could fluctuate up to there. Sometimes more when I'm doing project management, mm-hmm. um, I get paid a, a bigger lump sum, but. Well, the lowest thing, is You this. also do your shows. Yeah. And how much do your shows make? <sighs> that fluctuates too. The last well, the one. the last one. Okay, so the last you've one. Because been there, it, it fluctuates, mm-hmm. but it's fluctuating up. up. Right. So, right, right, right. And that's the same thing why I said with the store is you got to have history to project. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what did you make on profit on the last show? 4100 4100 mm-hmm. Now, I want you to take that. That's profit. Yeah. So now I want you to just think about it in these terms. If you did that one show and mm-hmm. the profit margin was 4100 then that gives you, what, an extra $350 a, a month. month? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. now that takes this number closer to this number with your other variable side hustles. Mm-hmm. So now we can put this number... And for the income, your monthly income. And it'd be more reflective that. of where you at. Now, do you have any money that you've saved and put aside for your music? <sighs> no. Okay. So <laughs> 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 so that's that's yeah. the, the typical artist. Yeah. But sometimes, like, here's the reason. Most of the time when that fills in, is when someone's been saving up to do a music video okay. or saving up. They had a goal, like, I'm about to do this. Not saving up for their music. Yeah. Just, like, 
if I could just get a verse from them. And they put their money away for this verse because, like, when I do this, spend this lump sum on this one thing, everything is going to change. Everything. When I drop this new project, everything is going to change. Yeah. And so that's what that, that's about. So now this le- leaves you with your disposable income of 733. Mm. What percentage of that are you willing to dedicate toward music? So disposable income. <sighs> nah, we gonna, there, hold on, we gonna adjust your right. mic because because now I'm looking, I'm looking around it, looking yeah. dusted and disgusted. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, what percentage of seven thirty? Well, see, here's the thing: it ain't even about the seven thirty three. It's about you. What percentage Do are it. you willing to? It's just a percent, and because that number is gonna go up and down. Okay, it's like how much. Of your focus and attention, your disposable focus and attention, and can you dedicate toward the music? Shoot, have everybody tell us one hundred percent. Right. Yeah, because that's all I focus on. All right, and if you do that and working out, and then you have to, uh, do you have a gym membership? No. Okay. Do you have buy equipment? Do you buy supplements? Do you have anything that comes along with that lifestyle and things that you do in that space that you spend money on? It would be a yes, typically, when I right. used to do Planet Fitness, because mm-hmm. that was, what, 40 bucks a month? Mm-hmm. So, yes, there, but I just switched gyms, and the new gym that I'm at now doesn't require membership and no fees. So, I'm okay, blessed. Okay, explain how they make money. Let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it, but I don't complain either, you know? So, you sound like you about to be in an MLM or something. They about to... <laughs> <laughs> you need to come in on Saturday. Come on, let's talk to you. Right? <laughs> so in. I'm telling you, if you do 10 push-ups and you get 10 friends to do 10 push-ups. <laughs> your push-ups are free. Like, mm, yeah. Okay. We definitely going to revisit that later. Yeah. Um, it's a great place, though. So, But that's that's the thing is, is understanding that portion of it. Mm-hmm. Like when you look at, all right, you still have other things that you do. Yeah. And there are other things that you might want to do. Um a hundred percent, you got to be a trooper to do a hundred percent. Because that means when your friend's in town, she's like, girl, we got to go out. Let's go. Da, 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 da. You got to like, no, nah. I can't. Right. But I ain't seen you in four years since we graduated. Mm. Are you that person? Are you an asshole? Uh, or are you just a shitty person? I'm just an artist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> just an artist. Because like, but- this, this is what like, so because yeah. here's the thing. And why I say that and why I tell people the 100% is is like the 100% is going to rub a lot of people in your life the wrong way. And it has That means Christmas presents, birthday presents. That means a lot of different things that you spend money on and do things that you don't calculate into Mm -hmm. your um, budget. It's just discretionary spending. That's where this money comes from. So when you go out, you just know you got some money in your account. So yeah, yeah, I'll put in on a section of a bottle, like treat yourself to something nice, all these different things. That's you spending your music career. Yeah. And it's like, and having to like, Mm. like really look at this and rationalize, okay, when you do the 100%, there are a lot of things that you enjoy, simple pleasures. Like just stopping and getting some Starbucks. Like can't even do that. Little little things that you're saying that I'm not gonna do because I make music. And see, that's I don't even like ice cream. Anymore. That's such a <laughs> that's a discipline thing. Yeah. Like you really because packing I, your lunch. Yeah, right. Right. <sighs> How many times did you pack your lunch since that week? Like, since yeah. The, uh, right. And and this is where the honesty today? has to come in. <laughs> This is this is where the honesty has to come yeah. in. Because if you're not honest about this, hmm. then all of you, everything else is wrong. Yeah, everything else is wrong. So we can sit here and go through all this stuff. And this is why I say, like, when it comes to like even doing consulting work and working with artists, it's when well, artists are shitty people. Mm. I'm helping you, and we go through this, and I'm taking time out. I get paid five hundred dollars an hour for consulting work. Mm. So I do this with you, right? And you're lying to me. Or yeah. you're not honest with me. But that's, and so now my- That's hurting me. Exactly. And it's wasting my time. <laughs> yeah, it's wasting your time. Like, because I didn't need to do this for you to still do the same right. thing. Right, right, right. So, but now, so now I take that information mm. and 
really be honest about that percentage of right. what I can do right now and what I'm willing to do right now. That's the uh, what can you budget? Yeah. So fifty. Mm, now there's what you honestly. can afford to do, right? And, and what, what you're I'm willing, willing to, to do. do, and that's yeah, yeah, that goes back to the first episode. Yeah. What you can't afford and what you're and see, to that's do. why you gotta watch all the episodes, all of the episodes, <laughs> like, right? Like, and that's the like going back to like these questions, like things build on each other, mm-hmm. and so it's like everybody's looking for the solution, looking for the ninety second clip, looking for the three minute, like, oh, that's that's what I've been doing wrong, right? And this thinking <laughs> you've been thinking wrong. <laughs> Your thought process is just a little off. You can't there, fix buddy. that in three minutes. There's not a 90 second clip that but will that. address the issue that you're having and correct it within 90 seconds. So we're gonna do 50 percent. 50 percent. Because if I say 100 and then my friends come to town and they ain't see me and I want to go see them, I'm probably gonna still go see them. Yeah. I know that about me. And then the whole rest of your budget but it's and gone. all your plans and all of that stuff is 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 over. Mm. So you're broke and you knew that coming in. Knew that. Knew that coming in. And here's the thing, I'm gonna ask you a question. Did you set any goals for 2023? Like something that you wanted to get accomplished? Where did you say, like, yo, after this year, this is where I want to be next year? Like In my music career? Yeah, in your music career. So I knew that I wanted to put out a certain amount of songs um, for the year. So every six weeks, I wanted to drop a new song with a video. I wanted to do my video for Zaza and Rose, which is a single I already have out. And I wanted to have at least two Indie Fresh showcases in the year. So okay. those were some realistic goals that I, I feel like I can hit that, you know, with the track that I'm already on. Um, so you wanted to do, like, at least eight songs? If you're doing every six weeks. Uh, yep, every six weeks. Okay. Yeah. And how much do you spend recording and releasing songs? <sighs> I mean, think about a song, beat, recording, mix, master, um, photography, or whatever it is yeah. that you do. Because I know you're over the top, like with all of your everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Performing, I need dancers. Dance, they need to be coordinated. Gotta you know, you have <laughs> it all. So, how much do I spend for one song mm. from start to finish? I say about just rough estimate. Five to six hundred bucks. Okay, so six hundred times eight is <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's what forty two hundred more than my okay. All right, so. Your annual budget, based on what we did, calculated $4,398. So the only thing you can do is release those songs. songs. Now, the Indie Fresh um, concerts yeah. are profit-generating. Yeah. But they there is also a spin, too. Mm-hmm. So... But I do, you know, sometimes rely on sponsorships for those, yeah. so it's not so much heavy on me. Right. So, but that's the thing. If you're doing sponsorship and you got money coming in from them, as long as long as it contributes, like, because we were doing one of those contributed to right. putting you at the $3,000. Mm-hmm. You follow me? Mm-hmm. So um, even if it does half of that and you're doing two of them, it still contributes profit and the money that you're spending is coming back. So as we're looking purely at the profit. So if you put, so if it takes you four thousand dollars to do the show and you make six thousand dollars back, then, then you got your four thousand yeah. back and, and then the two thousand profit. Mm-hmm. So that's understandable. Um I need to do more shows. So it sounds like Yeah, like you focusing on things that don't make you money. Right. Like that's what all artists do. Yeah. I gotta get these streams. Get these up. music out. Get How this many, new music. New I music. Mean, how many streams does it take to pay your rent? <laughs> so, like, these are the things. Yeah. Like, and so this is how I help artists be successful. Um, because most of the times, y'all don't even look at what, what success is to mm. you and what things actually get you closer there. So you're looking at how much music you have out. And as an artist, like, that's... You you doing shows isn't you being an artist. Mm. That's you being a promoter. Like putting on shows? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Indie Fresh is you is your promotions and event production company. Yeah. But I mean I do perform it too. And? Oh, okay. Right. Yes. I bag my groceries sometime when I go to Publix. <laughs> but you're not a grocery bagger, right? <laughs> right. right. So right. that's the thing. It's like don't get things confused. Mm. Like so there these are the things when you're performing these activities to generate money, this is how you're generating the money. Hmm. And so that's not you making money as an artist. Nope. But that is you making money in the music industry. Which adds to the budget, which allows you to put out those eight songs that you want to put out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that, so that just it just seems like to make it to make it make sense, I mm-hmm. would have to do more shows, production, mm-hmm. put out more indie fresh concerts, or find things that make you money. Like that's the thing. Like um, often, y'all don't look at anything that makes you money. Like as an I'm, artist, yeah, y'all don't. I mean, that's what we got making it magazine subscriptions yeah. for. You just got yours. Don't come up in here flexing like that. <laughs> they don't know that. Like, it's like it's like six episodes. <laughs> it's like you know what? They probably they do some good right. stuff. They, 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 they she got four thousand dollars worth of freaking sold before she got her <laughs> subscription. <laughs> this is true, y'all. So so so, but no, the reality of it is, as an artist, is like like um. Hopefully, I still got a clip, dude, talking about the monetization. I'll try to insert it here if I have it. But it's just what what ways are you going to monetize? Like, as an artist, what are the things that make you money or how are you going to try to make money? Mm-hmm. And so that's the question that um, you have to ask. And that's why, like, I, um, I think it was the... Uh, Episode three of talking about like yo, I'm like, how are you gonna make money? Mm-hmm. Like when um Vigilante was here. Mm-hmm. And I was like, when I do consulting work, I'm like, tell me why you're doing it. If you don't mention money, then I don't need to be a party to this conversation. Mm-hmm. Because that is my only goal is to, to help make you make money when you're paying me. And so it's like if you haven't established how the money's going to come in, then you don't have a business. Like, and that's the problem. You, you're, as an artist, you're a business. And you're supposed to be a business. You're supposed to generate income. This is why you're doing this. Like, you want to do this. You want to make money doing it. Mm-hmm. So you have to um, Ask those tough questions. Like the budget is a tough question. Yeah. It makes it forces you to Look assess your, your reality. Yeah. And it's like, that's hard. So, but then we go to you have your budget. And it's like, and remember the way that I defined a budget, I did it very specifically for a reason, is what you can afford or are willing to spend for a desired outcome. Mm-hmm. Ideally, that desired outcome is making some money. And so when you have a specific outcome, when you know, like, the goal is to make $10,000 this year, $20,000 this year, when you have financial goals, then you can easily say, well, if my goal is to make $10,000 this year, I definitely don't want to spend $15,000 doing that. But if you spend... If you if your goal is to make ten thousand dollars this year, and your budget is five hundred dollars, then what can you draw from that? If it's if I want to make ten, but I only got five, right? I got to make more money, right? Somehow, like how would you do that? <laughs> got to figure it out. How how do you make? You got to invest it. Yeah, that's internet advice. That's right. <laughs> right. right. But that's- exactly. It's like so. If, that's <laughs> like if if you had to come up with a hundred dollars. Yeah. Today is Thursday. Mm-hmm. If you had to come up with an extra hundred dollars by Saturday, you can come up with several things that you could do yeah. to come up with an extra hundred dollars. If you got twenty dollars in your pocket and you need a hundred dollars, you could buy a case of water and sell them. You I can was about do, to go sell something. Exactly. That's what you're gonna have to do. It's it's like it's the the problem. You can know how to work that problem out. Yeah. Now, if you have twenty dollars 
and I say, hey, you need to come up with $1,000 by Saturday, how do you turn $20 into $1,000? Right. It's going to involve something illegal, most likely. Scammers. <laughs> I was going to say scamming in Atlanta. That's it's, the only thing I can think of. But that's the thing is, but that's the risk reward, mm. that ratio. Like, you're risking $20 to generate $100. There are things that you can do. you multiplying that a factor is your time. Mm -hmm. So with 48 hours, I could go... I can buy some waters. I could sell them. I could do this. They got a picnic coming up. I could do whatever. Mm -hmm. You figure out the opportunities that are available to you right. within the window of time and the resources that you have, and you can make that work because the goal isn't outsized based on the budget and your resources. Mm -hmm. When I turn it from $100 to $1,000, you got to make <laughs> 10 times as much, and you still got the same amount of time and the same amount of resources. Now, the there isn't anything sensible. The, you got to look for something that has a, a crazy risk Return, reward. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, I could buy some lottery tickets. <laughs> I can go gamble. I can go do something illegal. I could do like, this is the only way that you can rationally that you've seen happen. Because if there was something that that offered uh, a 50 times return on investment in 48 hours, everybody, everybody would be doing, doing it. it. Yeah. And that ain't, nah. And so that's where the difficulty comes in. So now when we're looking at what your goals are and what it is that you want to get out of the money that you're spending, you have to you have to look at, okay, this is my budget. This mm -hmm. is what I have to spend. What is it that I want to accomplish based on this budget? Right. And, and the way that I would frame this when I work with my consultant clients, like, all right, Prim, you have $4,398. <laughs> you have $4,398. You have $4,400, mm -hmm. right? If you spend $4,400, that's 2023, January 2023. Fast forward in time. It's January 2024. And you spent $4,400. What things would you need to be able to say about your music career, about what you've accomplished and where you are to feel that you spent that money well? What minimum things would you need to be able to say about what you've done or where you're at and what you've accomplished in the past 12 months to say, I would spend it that same way again? Mm. What would make sense? Yeah, that's a deeper question. That's not a, yeah, you know, like, man, I'm trying to more shows and just be out, like. Mm, nah. I would definitely have had to put on Indie Fresh concerts mm -hmm. successfully because that's going to make more money to continue, you mm -hmm. know, generate revenue. Um, but here's the thing. The Indie Fresh concerts. I factor that into your income. That's yeah. you as a pro producer, producer of events, right. a promoter. So not the that artist. Ain't even, that's not you being an artist. Uh, Indie Fresh Concerts is a means to an ends to help bolster your budget. Right. And you leverage it to network and do other things. Right, right, right. So as the artist, what would I, what would I need to say that I've done? Besides making new music? Because I can't. Yeah, I cannot do That's eight, all y'all want to do. I can't do eight <laughs> songs. And with that budget um, and produce it successfully, um, I would I would want to have something I could show people making videos, really and truthfully, so that I can market myself even further to people that would probably take me to the next level or help me. To what end? To what end? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? To what end? Where, where, like, and that's what I'm saying. Where does the money come in? Like, you make music, you make videos, you mm -hmm. make to what end, though? Like... Because we could just make music every year and make videos, and it's a hobby. That's fine. It's okay for it to be a hobby. There's nothing wrong for you to just love making music and make music. Are you asking what, what is my goal for it, though? Like, why do I want to do it? Yeah, I'm asking you bits and pieces. What is the... See, like, because I just gave you, you have a, a finite amount of resources, a budget. Yeah. We've established that. Yeah. And I said, now you've invested 12 months of your life. Mm-hmm. 
What do you need to see happen with that budget to feel confident and happy about how you spent it? Okay. And so now you spent forty four hundred dollars mm-hmm. in twelve months of your life, and the only goal for you so far, from so what far. I'm gathering, mm-hmm. is having something new to show people. No. Now, any <laughs> business, mm-hmm. if that was like I wanted to open a restaurant, right. and I say, hey, I'm going to spend $4,400 or let's say $44,000, put it in the context of restaurant. Mm-hmm. And I just want to make sure like t- after a year of running this little taco stand or whatever and spending this money, I just want to make so sure that content. people hear about what I do with these tacos. I ain't worried about them paying for it. No. I just want them to come taste these tacos and know that I make the best vegan tacos in all of it. <laughs> Absolutely not. We want to make money. Right. We want to make money. Right. So, so how come you haven't talked about making money? Because that's exact. I mean, because in my head, the way I'm making money is the. You're not. Right. And that's why I'm broke See, now. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all be working. That's why I'm broke now. It's like, right. and it's like, and it's not you lying to them. It's you lying to, to you. To me, right. Because it's an uncomfortable thought. It's an mm. uncomfortable topic. It's an uncomfortable discussion. That was definitely uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 So 12 months from now, you spend 4400 To make 44000 now that is, if you want to make forty four thousand, that's your goal. If I'm spending forty four hundred, I I need to see a return on that. I need 10X, to look that. Right. You grant cordon. Right. Ten X. Ten X. All right. So now, tell me, cordon, what right. can you do to see ten X results? Whew. Well, that's the that's the tough question. What can I do to see ten X results? I mean, that's where we get into scam. Tech. That's where right. <laughs> That's where uh, See And the math And that's why Like I bring things Back to the math Like see These things It was like Yo we can I can make content Like that all day And it's like Yeah and just You can go from 44 To 40 You never know Like yeah (laughs) And that's why Everybody out here broke Broke as fuck Because Because everybody Is selling you that dream Everybody Who has a service Who has a Thing like Oh yeah You know what you missing Like this is This is the 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 thing in Atlanta, this it, and it's not the scam; it's the finesse. Mm. The scammers just lie and use names and Dripping drop names and, finesse, and all that. Boy. The finesse is the only thing you need. <laughs> Insert exactly what they sell. Ah oh, man, you're like lyrically and whew, what you're doing is you just need the right beats though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Producer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, like, man, the, the only thing you just gotta get in front of the right people when you perform it. Promoter. Like, that is the whole thing. Like, you, they're gonna tell Finesse. you you have everything except the thing that, that I'm I got. selling. Right. You need what I got. And I I I lose a lot of money. It's like you ain't got nothing together. <laughs> I am just here to help you get some of it right. together. You still got other things Think. that you got. Like, you, and that's one of the things like why I I, I don't do free stuff for people. Mm. Like you gotta pay me. Yeah. And and here's the reason why. Because the people that I deal with, you have to pay them. So if I do this for you for free, because you don't have the money, and so I, I take one for the team, and I'm doing this stuff and doing it, all this for free. And then I got to send you to someone. Mm. They're not about to do it for free. Right. You can't and tell so them you don't have the money. It was a waste of my time if I do this for free to get you to the next step. And then you can't do it. Even worse, if you get to the next step, and it's like, all right, I got you. I'm like, hold on now. What happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah. if for like understanding like the the levels to this that yo, it takes finances to make this stuff happen. Big finances. No, take us no. Because it don't seem like little money. Well, no, but here's the thing. You bought a car before. Yeah. Right. How much did the car cost? Financing. No, no. How much did the car cost? $2,100. Tw- thousand. $21,000. $21, yeah. All right. So your car is $21,000. And they, they, you financed it. Mm-hmm. Right? 
Oh, I remember how I related to Rule Indy that. So, um, I think uh, we may have been, it may have been after South by, we were in um, Dallas for um, the Vertigo uh, Music Summit or DJ Mixer that they do after South by. And so, Wendy was on the panel. And so, I always ask, I always go up and ask the question that I think the room needs to hear. Mm-hmm but doesn't know to ask. And so at this particular conference, I'm like, hey, Wendy, how much money does it take (laughs) to actually break an artist? And it was like, what? She she answered 150,000. And you could hear hearts break in that room. Insert... Crackling, cracking glass, <laughs> glass sound effect. <laughs> like you can hear the, you can hear the heart Damn. spray. You can hear the silence and just the, the, the discomfort of realizing, hey. It takes money. I don't have a, not even a, I think, see, that's the thing. You get the abstract concept that it takes money, but not often how much money it takes. Mm. But then when you realize how much money it takes, you don't understand how money works to know how to take that money. Mm. And make it work. Like, people have homes that cost more than that. Right. Yeah. That didn't mean that you had $150,000 in your account. And that goes back to our budget discussion. Mm -hmm. You think that this music, this thing is a budget that you have. You can invest $150,000 in your career. Let's say, if you invested $15,000 a year in your career, that's three to four times what you have right now. Mm-hmm. And this is, you're doing this with no structure, no budget, no nothing, right? Right. So that means that someone, you could you could be doing 15000 a year. Or even at this amount, let's say 5000 a year, that's what you're doing. 5000 this year, ten, now it's 10000 now it's 15000 But guess what? You're also growing each year. Mm-hmm. So now instead of it just being 5000 this year, then you spent ten thousand the next year, so you had fifteen thousand. Right. Maybe you do ten thousand the next year, you had twenty five thousand. But now you've even figured out the merch situation. Mm-hmm. Now it's thirty thousand. Like you're Girl. reinvesting the money. Yeah. And it's a cumulative thing. You're building equity mm-hmm. in your career. Your problem right now is when you don't do this, when you don't finance it, when you don't put a plan together and work toward a plan, you're, you're not building equity. I would say, let me give you a, a, a simple example. Mm-hmm. Um, two people have $100,000, right? Or let's uh, say $25,000, okay. right? Um, lump sum comes in. One person takes that $25,000 and... They go get a nice little apartment down at Atlantic Station. <clears throat> and lease a car. Splurge a little bit with the rest, whatever. And now they're spending like $2,000 a month on this apartment. Other person <clears throat> takes that same 25000 And instead of... Spending it. Well, no, still spends it. Mm. But instead of getting a nice apartment in Atlantic Station, <clears throat> they get them a, a a little house, little little bungalow, little ranch style house, two bedroom on the east side somewhere where it ain't exactly expensive, ain't a nice gated community, just a house though. Yeah. And that's they use that as a down payment. They spent more money up front. Like the apartment, let's say it's twenty five hundred a month. Mm. Let's say First month, last month. Yeah. 5000 you got $20,000 to play with, mm. be at the club, have a good car, time, do, just, do all that extra stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, I spent the 25000 or person B spent the 25000 That's their down payment. They don't have no splurge, play with, get a new car. None you can't that. do that. All right? But now, let's move forward 10 months. $2,500 a month on the your rent, rent $25,000. Mm. 
gone. And say annually, that's thirty thousand dollars, and you're still making money, so you could pay it. Right. Um, the person who did the down payment on their house, they're paying. Let's say the mortgage is the same, twenty five hundred, right? Twenty five hundred a month, thirty thousand going toward a mortgage, building equity. Yeah. One person is paying for the roof over their head. The other person is paying for the ground beneath their feet. Mm. It's a big difference. Fast forward, that's 30000 this year, 60000 this year, 90000 this year, 120000 this year, 150000 They have value. Yeah. They own the ground beneath their feet. This other person did the same thing, bad. spent the same amount of money, but let them ever fall short. Get out. And that's it. That's it. No money back, no, no nothing. value. You're in paying anything. for the service, the experience, the, yeah. the usage. You're not investing into something, but in order to do and to invest into something that's, that gives you stability, mm -hmm. the ground beneath your feet, it takes the time out. We got to run your credit. You got to put more money down. We have to have an end goal because, hey, this is a $300,000 uh, $300, house. So at some point, we plan on you paying this off. You, you understand? Like mm -hmm, there, mm -hmm. everything is planned out, and every payment is going toward that plan. Yeah. But you know, I got twenty five thousand. I want I want something nice, something luxury, and then I have a little extra to play with. I don't want to take all this money and put it toward. That's temporary satisfaction. But that's what, as artists, you chase. True. That's why you don't want to pay for a marketing plan. That's why you don't want to pay for consulting. That's like going back to what we talked about with the performances. Yeah, People pay to mm -hmm. perform for the experience of performing mm -hmm. without bringing any promotional material to the event, without networking, without doing any of the things that turn it from a roof over the head situation mm -hmm. into a ground under the feet situation. And that's like the way that you look at these things. So it's like going back to what it's I crazy. said. It's a mind frame. Yeah. It's it's about how you look at things that paradigm shift. So in order for you to get take the budget that you have, yeah, and get where you're trying to go, it has to be a mindset shift. And so when when I ask you, hey, what's your goal? Like after you spend X amount of dollars, what things do you need to see happen? Like a simple example is. And all of these things will change it. If you say, hey, I'm trying to make money off of my music. If I spend $4,400, I want to at least double my money mm -hmm. or see a 50% return on my investment from my music somehow. So now that that forty that 4500 turns into what? Like, say, 6750 like, you want to see that gross amount come in from spending this money. Yeah. So you then made a 50% profit on it. Hmm. You can say, all right, I don't care about making any profit. I just want to break even. I don't want to lose money doing right. music. Right. Uh, lose anything. And so at that point, now your goal can be, I'm willing, I don't, I don't want to, Find my, I don't want to create financial burden chasing music, mm -hmm. but I do want to expand my brand and position myself better to grow, to make more money next year, to be able to invest more money next year. Or you could be on the side of, I ain't tripping on that little 4500 I'm willing to spend that to do whatever I need to do to just get my name out as okay. much as I can or build my brand up as much as I can but only when that goes toward a long-term plan. Yeah. So for someone who's chasing a label situation or an investor, that yeah. makes sense. Okay. Like I'm trying to build my value, my stock, my public perception in a way that I can get this person to invest into me or these people to sign me. Like when you're trying to turn a profit, mm -hmm. that's a different game. So a lot of people are looking to turn a profit playing a sign me game. And a lot of people are trying to get signed playing a trying to turn a profit game. And it's like not realizing 
what game you're playing. And that goes back to what we talked about with the contracts. Yeah. It's like, like if I, if I mix the analogies of the mm-hmm. contracts and the, how I showed you the difference between renting somewhere and purchasing, mm-hmm. a, a mortgage ain't a mortgage. They're 15-year fixed. You got 10-year, 15-year on. Like, there was a whole financial meltdown because people, oh, it's just a mortgage. It's like, no, that's, that's going to totally change in right. five years, and you're going to have to start paying this. And so it's like every, every deal, every situation is different. So you got to look at it based on what your situation is. Hmm. What is your situation right now? With my art. Yeah. What I want to do. Yeah. Well, I've like you said, I've been playing the I'm trying to get these people to invest in me game, but I still need a profit. So really and truthfully, if I'm looking at it and I'm being honest with myself, I want to turn a profit. Okay. So I have to start gearing myself towards this way in order to make this amount, even though I do still want to create that value for myself so that when people do look at me and they do come to me, you know, they can invest and put into me and I'll eventually be where I want to be so I don't have to keep doing little things, the little things. But that's impossible. Like, I'm just saying, like, I'm not the, you you can have it all. You can't. (laughs) Like, that's a lie. Crushing dreams. Yeah, that's what I'm here, to crush your dreams. You need to wake up. (laughs) (laughs) I want to be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, like honestly, yeah, is you is like because the things, the things that that do that that help you get people's attention aren't things that are profitable mm. in the short run. Things like what performances, like. Moving around, doing, like, and this is even with, like, signed artists. How much money they spend moving artists around, investing into cutting records, remixing records, doing all of these things, because their their plan is a longer-term plan. It's like they're investing in the, that's why you you have um, four years or three projects and a couple mm. options. Like, yo, this is a Those long-term skills. investment yeah. for us. This is a mortgage. <laughs> And so, like, that's that's the thing. So, but for you as an independent artist, when you're looking at turning a profit, um, your profit, you're looking at this month. You're yeah. looking at next quarter. Like, right. you want to see money now. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not looking at, and, and from our conversation, this is what I'm assuming. Like, because you could very well be looking to turn a profit, but it's like, yo, I'm fine with putting that 4500 in. And I'm fine with doing these things. I want to, in year five, be profitable and making thirty thousand dollars a year or whatever. Like every single person who does music could be successful if they looked at it like college. If you figured that, like, think about this: you graduated college, right? Yeah. How much did you spend a year on average for college? Like fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand dollars yeah. a year. Mm-hmm. For four years. Yeah. Sixty thousand dollars. Yep. You spent sixty thousand dollars to then give them also full time hours a week, going to lecture halls, studying tests, all of these different things. So if you put sixty thousand dollars into your career and also dedicated full time hmm. amount of hours, a full time job's worth of amount of hours, do you not think that you could figure out a way to make forty fifty thousand dollars a year at the end of that? Hell yeah. I should be able to. Right. I should be able to. Yeah. But there's no accountability for artists. Like Uh, college, you get grades, you mm -hmm. have professors, you have people that are on your head. You get to graduate. (laughs) All of these. You better graduate. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You don't have that same thing. So it all is internal. You have Mm -hmm. to be internally motivated to do these things. Discipline. Like I said. It's. Gotta want it bad enough. Yeah. And so, and be honest with yourself, because this is the hardest part. It's hard. So that's the thing that I, with you, like, I want part. you to think about that question that I asked you. Twelve months and forty five hundred dollars later, mm. what do you want to see happen? What would make you feel confident in the way that you spent that money? 
And that's where we start next time we come back. All right. 12 months and $4,400 later. Mm-hmm. 45, because you had, I'm rounding yeah, it up. Yeah. You had a little, 45, you had a little something, something left. 45. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to see where we're going to be. All right. Sound like a plan. Um, please, please use technology. <laughs> He said, put it on the word, the spreadsheet. Use the spreadsheet. Print it this out. Print this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so next time, uh, I guess that's some questions for the people to ask, too. Yeah, y'all do. You do the same. Yeah. Oh, man, but, we didn't do none of that right. YouTube stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, subscribe, right. comment, ask your questions in the comments. Right. We're, doing, we're giving a PlayStation 5. Like. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to win a PlayStation 5, you got to yeah, write your budget all, out. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this has been the Artists of Shitty People podcast. Yes. Featuring Kelby Canick, publisher of Making the Magazine. And, and Miss Primrose, your typical artist. Resident artist. <laughs> your, we ain't gonna call you, we, your, your resident artist. Atypical artist. Atypical artist. <laughs> all right. We out. <laughs>